Hello, brothers and sisters, young and old, in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to talk about what are our thoughts, according to Jesus Christ, according to the scriptures today. Our thoughts determine whether or not we will enter heaven. Our thoughts determine whether or not we will be the bride of Christ and get to know him for real, receive him for real, repent for real, be baptized in Jesus Christ for real. So our thoughts, according to the scriptures, are food. They're food for consumption. And this food will bear good fruit, or this food will bear wicked fruit fruit that is bitter that Jesus Christ will not receive. It is according to Jesus, okay? And he tastes the food. He tastes our thoughts in a spiritual way so that we can be pleasing to the Lord or we will not be pleasing to the Lord. I want to read some of the scriptures today that talk about this this fruit okay Philippians 4 17 speaks not because I desire a gift but I desire fruit that may abound to your account that we are in Jesus Christ my friends our fruit that will abound to your account storing up treasures in heaven is our account of having seen the kingdom of God, been transformed to get to know Christ. Jude one twelve. this speaks about fruit that has withered, that is not good fruit. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you. These, these feed themselves without fear. Clouds, they are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withered, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. They have no root system in the Lord Jesus Christ. They have no interest in Jesus Christ whatsoever. They feed themselves with you, okay? They'll be around you regularly because they're in the world. And they are feasts, eating and drinking, Giving in marriage, buying land, working regularly. These are people that go to feasts of charity, supposedly of love. They will feast with you, feeding themselves without the fear of God. They are clouds without water, my friends. Any kind of fruit that is withered is not pleasing to Jesus Christ. It is dead, twice dead. This is why it is very important what our thoughts are today and how we will receive Jesus Christ, how we receive and what we do with our own thoughts in this life. We can accept our thoughts, put them into our heart, guard them, or we can cast them out, rebuke those thoughts, evil thoughts, thoughts of leaven, Thoughts of sin, rebuke those thoughts in Jesus' name. Also, I want to read to you two more scriptures to close. John fifteen sixteen, Jesus Christ speaks through John. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Lastly, Romans 6.22. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life, my friends. Have your fruit unto holiness Seek Jesus Christ, have your fruit, your thoughts, the food for consumption unto the Lord, holy thoughts, good thoughts, 
Think about good things. Don't mess with the world and the wickedness in the world because the world is going to hell, my friends.